Um, so when you have a baby or a child with hemangioma, um, you need to decide which one you need to treat and which one you don't need to treat. As I said, the, air, the, the location of the hemangioma is very important. Ulceration, infection, and bleeding is very important to make you decide what sort of treatment you need to do. Most of the hemangiomas, especially the small one and those that are not affecting the uh, face, perianal area, uh, uh, perineum, and lower spine does not need treatment as they usually uh, settle down. But please don't tell you the parents that the hemangioma will disappear within six months or one, one, or, or one, one year. Uh, they usually take between two years to 10 years to disappear completely. They usually have growing phase for up to six months, and this is why most of the parents come uh, alarmed because of the change in size. And they usually then they start to settle down between, as I said, two years to 10 years. The color usually uh, uh, fades slowly and then the size. And um, there are many treatments, and the most widely used treatment now is the beta blockers, uh, which have changed the treatment of hemangiomas. Uh, Probanolol, which is uh, a non beta selective. Uh, uh, non-selective beta blockers, which has some side effects, and now recently atenolol started to be used, which is um, uh, more safer and less side effects than the probenolol. Systemic steroids can be used. Topical beta blockers can be used in small uh, uh, hemangiomas that not causing any um, symptoms. Uh, Intralesion steroids and laser or surgery maybe later in life.